The Toronto Raptors face off against the Minnesota Timberwolves tonight, but the Minnesota Lynx visit Toronto in May. I'm Nora Zainab with Justin Pudi and Jelani Goodridge Reed, and today we will go over Toronto Raptors going off again against the, T the Timberwolves. But there's news breaking around the league, you guys. We're finally getting not an WNBA team, not an actual game, but a preseason game mm. in Toronto, thanks to Natalie Achunwa of Toronto itself. Yes. But um, first, we got to talk about Toronto. I'm sorry. The Raptors have to be given the, you know, it's, if we had a WNBA team, it, was, it could start off with that. It has with to the be Toronto. First Absolutely. And building to the that's good right, news at the right. end. We got to give you the, you got to get you ready first, yeah. and then we'll go give you the, the proper stuff. But yeah, they face off against the Timberwolves tonight. Timberwolves, second night of a back-to-back. -back. They played the Denver Nuggets last night. Um, lost that one without Gobert, without Cat. But tonight, they will be in Minnesota. Toronto, on the other hand, they don't, face well against the bigs at all. We can't show up against bigs whatsoever, but thankfully for that, we're not going to be having Gobert or a cat against us tonight. So guys, can the Raptors do something here? Is this a good spot for the Toronto Raptors? Think about it, right? The Raptors have every advantage to play well tonight because the Timberwolves played in Denver last right. night, traveling back home. The Raptors are well rested. Yeah. There's no excuse for them to come out flat tonight. Yeah. If they come out flat again in the first quarter, once again, which... Yeah, they like, need a hot start. They need a hot start. Hey, yeah. maybe come out of halftime and actually play well for once, too. That might be a good start, too. Um, but like you mentioned, Noor, they do struggle against bigs. Rudy Gobert's had a bad year. Yeah, that Very has bad not year. Been. Charles yeah. Barkley said the, the that... The trade has not worked. Yeah, Charles so Barkley said that was like the worst trade the Timberwolves could have ever done. Yeah. And it is... I mean, they're playing horrible, right? Yeah. I think, I think it comes down to coaching. What about Ant? And building on Ant. Yes, Conley Towns missed time. But look... There's no excuse for the Toronto Raptors not to come out and start off hot. They don't have to win, but I need to see a very good start from the Toronto Raptors tonight because there's no excuses to that. Do I need I? to see them win. That, that, that's, that's, that's it. That's just it. I need to see them win. There's no <laughs> cat. There's no go bear. Yeah. So I expect Toronto to man the paint, mm -hmm. right? That's where we're going to expect. Nick, you know, you know what? If you look at the history... Uh, since like our championship year, we've done well against the Timberwolves. Yeah, yeah. seven to one. I mean, it's nothing to sneeze. The Timberwolves right? I know, I know, garbage. but I'm saying, I'm saying, this is a good spot for the Raptors. Nick Nurse, he coaches well against these guys. And then when you're talk, talking about, you know, the road factor of it all, right? right? The Raptors have not been good on the road, six and fourteen. We understand all of that, but with two guys out inside like that, yeah. Toronto should be able to at least make their presence felt there. The mm -hmm. shooting, we'll see what happens with the shooting tonight. Uh, but I, I really think tonight we're going to see a lot of action, especially the rebounding. Rebounding is going to be big because yeah. we need second chance points, right, to definitely help us win today. The rebounding for Minnesota is not good at all. No. They're one of the worst rebounding teams in Which the league. Which is crazy. I know. And yeah, with, with those two guys and with them being out, I mean, come on. Like, yeah. So I do expect the Raptors to win today. Hopefully. Okay, <laughs> hopefully. hopefully. You said that a bunch of times before. I know. I, 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 I know, I know. <laughs> I'm just saying, all, I, all I'm saying is, is get up to a good start. I don't, you need to win to get up to a good start. In my eyes, these are, these are two teams that are just not living up to their expectations mm -hmm. going at each other tonight, right? Definitely that's what that's what's going to be. Yeah. And you're going to be without Cat, without Gobert. And the Raptors are healthy, finally, for the first time in how You've long. They've been wanting this. They've been wanting this. You have Pascal. You got Freddie. You have Achua. Achua's been a great contribution off the bench. And I think he could right. feast tonight, not having all those bigs around him and stuff, too. Um, but in terms of just the Minnesota Timberwolves, I... Everybody knows I've been a fan. I've been a, I've been, I was, I was, no, no, what did she say? I was uh, riding the wave. All right. Top, top I was riding the wave. I was, listen, you can't, yeah. you can't, show start. me the roster. Show me the roster no, and don't tell me, they right? They shouldn't be 10th in the West. There's right no now. way. They're 10th in they the West. Be. They're 22 24. You have the likes of Carl Anthony Towns, Rudy Gobert, back to back defensive player of the year. Right. You have Anthony Edwards, yeah. one of the yeah. best, best rookies that could have been out there the last couple of years, right? D'Angelo Russell to move the ball around yeah. everywhere. And then you have a decently solid bench. Daniels as well coming Reed, up. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I just I don't I don't understand what's happening with them. Coaching. You think it's coaching? It's coaching. Like, we saw even in the playoffs, the, playoffs the coaching that, that, hurt them. Yeah. That's why they got Chris bounced. Finch is not a good coach. Like he's not a good he's head coach. Bring him back to Toronto. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Like honestly, like <laughs> yeah. when you look at this Minnesota roster and all the flaw, they play just bad bad because not everyone can be a head exactly coach, yeah right? there's just, plenty of good coaches out there but not everyone can be exactly that's why there's only yeah, 30 of those jobs exactly and i think when you look at chris Finch, i don't think he, the, the players he gains the respect from his players like when you look at i don't think ant respects him or cat respects from rudy gobert he doesn't command that respect like i know people he's an overrated coach but doc river still commands respect because he has a voice he's got a yeah, voice got right the, the yeah. voice nick nurse there. commands respect in the locker room right you look at these guys um Pick any top head coach, yeah. Greg Popovich, like, right? Like, I don't think Chris Finch commands respect in the locker room. 
And you need that in the NBA, especially when there's a bunch of young players out there that sometimes want to do their yeah. own thing. And if you don't have that and you don't have structure, you're not going to play well. Yeah, and you're they, seeing that with the Minnesota They got the world. talent to yeah. do things in the yeah, Western absolutely. Conference, but they're tense. And that's why they might make a move by, uh, mm-hmm. by this deadline. Yeah. Um, they're gonna have to, but I, at that point too, I'm just like, I think Chris Finch needs Nick Nurse just as much as Nick Nurse needs him. Like, they're, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Like, you have one defensive coach, you got one offensive coach. Yeah. What more could you ask for? Yeah. Like, that's it. All comes down to coaching, and we've yeah. seen that even with the Raptors too, right? Where whatever they're struggling with, it's based off of what Nick Nurse is telling them in the mm-hmm. locker room. Who gets the roles? Who's gonna have the ball? What plays are being made? What kind of lineups we're seeing too? Lineups, yeah. The lineups have been. Mm-hmm crazy like we i don't think we've seen the same consistent lineup for like 10 straight games so far this season i don't think we will um so don't even no, get your hopes up about yeah, that probably yeah probably won't. not yeah, at this point but you got to find whatever what's gonna work yeah right i mean now. at the same time too you might see a massive change in the roster after uh, the trade deadline so with that you're gonna have to change up lineups no matter what happens sure. but speaking of uh, the timberwolves and minnesota no one cares about them. There's another team that we care about, though. Yeah. The Minnesota Lynx are coming to town, you guys. Karina Mustafa, shout out to you. I don't know. Shout I think she had Karina. something to do with it. I don't know if she actually did, but I'm just going to say the loudest person in Toronto. Like, it was all because of her. But they will be in Toronto, even for a preseason game mm-hmm. on May 13th at Scotia Bank Arena. I think that shows you that there may be perhaps, like, talking about it like could there be could this be like a setup to see well let's see what the response will be like from the city yeah. and then we can kind of go forth from there um and maybe even talk about an expansion team in toronto yeah like this is the first test for toronto to finally see if they can be an expansion city for the WNBA. and i think it's awesome to see just for canada in general because the women's game is blowing up in our country right. the women just finished fourth in the world cup and I think you know, the WNBA stars littered throughout uh, the WNBA landscape that are from Canada. And it'll be awesome to see. I think it's just, um, it's a cool moment that like, yeah. there's now going to be opportunity for basketball fans to finally see the WNBA and their favorite WNBA players yeah. up close and personal here in Toronto. Yeah, I think I expect the crowd to be packed. Should be jammed. As it should be. Buy your yeah. tickets now. Buy I, them now. Yeah. It's like, I because for years we've been wanting a team here, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Whether you watch the WNBA or not, there's been a lot of talk about Toronto potentially being the first team outside of the U.S. or sorry, first city outside of the U.S. Yeah. that could get a team. And yes, they've been talking about expansion, you know, throughout the USA. But I think at some point, W, you know, they should look to it Canada. Should like, this they is a massive. This is the massive market. You here. know, because you have you have your Torontos, your Vancouver's, your Montreal's. There's so many so many fans yeah. um, of the game. So you you mentioned it with the women. Look, we are actually rising in terms of a exactly. nation, right? A Chanwa, of course, you know, a big major reason why this is mm-hmm. happening in the first place. But you also I think they wanted to bring Kia Nurse. Kia Nurse, here, of course. Like, we, yeah. we know, we know mm-hmm. Kia. We see yeah. her all, all, the, all the time on TSN. You know, Kia's doing her thing. Obviously, you have uh, Bridget Car- Carlton, mm-hmm. excuse me. She's, she's balling too. And then there's actually an influx of young talent coming up. Because I, I, I watch, I watch the, uh, you basketball. know, college basketball all the time. And you're seeing the talent all over. It's littered all yeah. over the place. Aaliyah Edwards, UConn. Yeah. You're looking at uh, Pellington, Arizona. Yeah. So you have all these, you know, I'm here in, in South Carolina. They Name just won. They, they just won the championship. Yeah. So you're, you're talking about that. I think this is going to be good for especially young girls seeing the game uh, you know, downtown. I love that you said that because my next question was around along those lines too. And I, and I think in, as in being in Canada, being a sports fan in Canada, you don't obviously get to see the same level of uh, sports here the way that you yeah. do in the states, right? But even the sports that come here, right? Mm-hmm. You got one baseball team, you got one basketball team, you got a couple hockey teams here and there. Mm-hmm. But the way that you see the fandom go crazy for that one baseball team for that one basketball team it just shows you that maybe this city needs it like this country so. needs it and that ripple effect creates a fan base even more right the Raptors, who did they have in the stands back 15 years ago absolutely nobody and now you've got three million yeah. people at the parade mm-hmm. so this i feel like um like this is a massive place for the for the women and for the youth and also for the men to see that women's sports is respected Look, I, and I they want to be the, there. I watched yeah. W and yeah. I watched uh, NCAA basketball all the time for the women's game. Mm-hmm. I think it's good. I think it's actually better. Yeah. I think they play better basketball yeah. because it's team basketball exactly. yeah. rather than jacking up threes You're from just downtown. Talking about the Minnesota Timberwolves playing stupid basketball. Thank right? you. When you watch the W. You see teams that actually have so, proper offensive systems, defensive yeah, systems yeah, yeah, in yeah. place that play the real passing. actual <laughs> basketball. Right. The yeah. passing is. Defense. Crazy. They play yeah. defense. There's, yeah, you know, sharing the ball. So yeah, exactly. I think I think that 
Toronto should have a team. Mm -hmm. Please make it happen. I think we should have a team. And this is the start. This is the start. And you mentioned it too. Like it's, uh, I think Jelani might have mentioned. It. Both you guys mentioned it. Um, Hurt mine. Hurt mine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, just for young girls that can see a pathway to you know becoming a professional basketball yeah. player, where you might have never thought that could ever be a right, chance, right, right? right? To have those people that have you know set those pathways playing right in front of your eyes, that does something for people. You can yeah. see a visual like representation, visual yeah. like pathway to achieving Absolutely. that goal, yeah. and I think that's something that. Like Vince Carter, like the Toronto Raptors championship run. That, that helped this, the game. It helped this game it. right here could set the pathway for just growing the game, not only just for women, but for the, for the game in general too. in I Canada, right? Too, just yeah. to continue on because the Because the talent is here, yeah. but you just need to go and you get just, it. You and you also, I think beyond the talent too, it's about to show the rest of the world mm. that respect has to be earned as well, yeah. right? So the, the more you expand it, the more people you get involved, the more yeah. fandom grows, the more you've got to respect yeah, it because I, it's the real thing. Because even here, like, I don't think the WNBA has really much of a crowd like i don't think there's a much of a following it's starting now but it's starting it, now. it is slowly but because i think there could be more at this point i think there yeah. should be more well that's yeah. exactly why help, if so. you're listening if you're watching if you plan on now if you're a basketball <laughs> fan sports fan in toronto if you're just from toronto for the love of god go get a ticket yeah. make your voice loud and proud you know everyone's watching in the league they want to bring the team here let's give them a reason to bring in here we deserve to have a WNBA team in toronto and we deserve to have karina mustafa cover it too well and we'll see you next time on homestand NBA. Hopefully WNBA too. <laughs> Let's see ya.